Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to our channel, Cooking Like Antonio. Today we're going to be learning how to make orakete with broccoli. So we are going to go ahead and get started. First, we are going to cook 450 grams of fresh or frozen broccoli. We are bringing the broccoli to a boil in salted water and we are going to cook that until it is nice and tender. And it seems like it's nice and soft, so I'm going to go ahead and drain it. Okay, so let's go ahead and drain the broccoli. And as you can see, that is pretty hot. So I'm going to allow that to cool down before I try to chop that. So the broccoli has cooled down enough. It doesn't feel that warm to the touch. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this finely and we're just going to cut it into little pieces just like that. Okay and as you can see we've chopped this nice and finely there are no big chunks in there. I'm going to go ahead and put it into our bowl. So there's our broccoli, nice and fine. We're going to start and um, prepare the sauce. Okay, so we are ready to start preparing the sauce. Um, what we're going to do is heat the oil, um, and that is six tablespoons of olive oil in a skillet. So we'll go ahead and add that now. I already have the pan heating. So we'll go ahead and add that. Let that heat up for just a minute here. And then to that, we are going to add the bacon. Now the bacon, um, the, re the recipe does say that you can use speck or bacon. Um, we just went with the lean bacon um, that we chopped up. What I did do is remove most of the fattier pieces and just use the meatier pieces of the bacon just to compensate for the fact that we couldn't find really lean bacon. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add that to the oil. And then we are going to fry that until it is brown and crispy. There we go. Okay, our bacon is starting to brown up rather nicely. We're next going to add the garlic, but before that actually I'm going to add just a little bit of water to kind of prevent the uh, garlic from burning. We don't want it burned. Okay, we put that water in there. garlic. And then we're going to go ahead and cook that for about another minute. Oh my goodness, that smell, that aroma is just fantastic. The mm. bacon and the garlic and the oil. Mmm, wow. If it turns out as good as it smells right now, we're in for a treat. So we're going to go ahead and add the broccoli. So the broccoli was salted when we boiled it, so we don't need to add a whole lot of salt. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add the milk. All right. And then, that, that step. then that's just going to cook um, while we keep stirring it until the sauce is nice and smooth. Okay, we've had this cooking now down for a few minutes. It's starting to get a nice thick consistency. It's starting to look like a very nice sauce. Um, I think we're just about ready to move on to the next step. Okay, and that's going to be to boil the pasta. So the pasta that we're using is... Uh... It's a little bit different than what we're used to. We'll go ahead and show that. Uh, those are the shapes. Yeah. 
So, um, so we'll go ahead and cook the pasta and then we'll put everything together. Okay, our pasta is ready now. We're going to go ahead and add that to our sauce. I can tell you right now, it smells absolutely fantastic. Yeah, who would have thought pasta and broccoli? Then once we have that mixed together, we will be adding um, the Parmesan and some black pepper, and then we will be ready to do the taste test. Okay, I think we're just about ready. Okay, and then we've got our grated fresh Parmesan cheese there. So go ahead and add that. Just kind of spread it around a little bit. And that is 50 grams or 2 ounces of Parmesan. Okay, go ahead and mix that in. And to me, this would have been a strange combination if you would have just told me, but actually it, it looks pretty darn good. We are going to uh, go ahead and plate that up and get ready to do a taste test. And we'll give you an honest review of what we think. Mamma mia! Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the taste test. It looks great. It smells great. Let's find out if it is great. Mm. It's a very nice combination of flavors. Mm. Very, very good. I think the bacon really puts it over the top. Absolutely, it does. Um, they all work together as usual. Antonio hit a home run with this one, I would say. For our first attempt, I would do this again. Absolutely. Okay, guys, until next time, we're saying goodbye. And as usual, I'm eating. <laughs> Enjoy. Mmm, that's good.